for Heather. When you get the cue, you can begin. Have you had a family portrait made? Maybe take a picture of something you and your friends were doing with the phone? Congratulations, you've used photography. It's one of the most important ways we document the world around us and our lives. Today we're going to talk about photography, its origins, several different types and elements of photography, and explore why we even take pictures. How did photography get its start? Well, originally there was a device called the camera obscura. It was used similarly to a camera. It projected a scene outside onto a board and an artist would trace it. Obviously, this took quite a bit of time to get a picture, a lot of effort. So, in about 1816, a man named Nikifor Neeps invented the camera. And that's what the first one looked like. There are hundreds of different types of photography, but the four most common and most useful include portrait photography, nature, sports, and art photography. Portrait photography is the most common. It's obviously when you take a picture of someone else to document their life and their interests. Nature photography is one that I really enjoy. It brings National Geographic to most people's minds. Obviously, this is animals, plants, and nature in general. Sports photography. Taking pictures at sporting events. This is often used in journalism, local newspaper papers, ESPN, Sports Center, they all use sports photography. Art photography is a little more hard to define because it's so broad. Art photography can really be anything that doesn't have a specific genre that it fits into. They're mostly taken for the pure enjoyment of taking pictures. And then there are the different elements of photography. Obviously, photography is an art form, so you don't have to use these, but if you use them, it shows that a photographer really actually does know what they're doing. Um, one of them is blurring. Obviously, this is when you blur the background of a photo to bring the subject into clearer focus, kind of like in this picture. The clover behind the girl is blurred out, and she's really in focus, and she really stands out. Boca. Um, this is one a lot of people actually know about. They just have never heard the name for it. It's um, Kelly Sanchez describes it as it describes a rendition of out of focus points of light. Basically, it's those pretty little dots of light you see behind him there. Um, it's really hard to capture, but it's really fun too. The rule of thirds. This is when your focus point is off center. They usually, um, photographers usually use this to tell a story. You don't always have to do that, but it's good to. Um, viewpoint. This is when you manipulate the way your viewers look at a subject or a picture. It uh, can often be used to change their viewpoint on something. Um, it's always really funny to watch a photographer try to take something from a different viewpoint because generally they have to lay on the ground or squat up against the wall or something ridiculous to get the pictures. Um, oh, all of those effects that you saw there, none of them are photoshopped. They're all things you do using manipulations of light and the camera. Um, Kelly Sanchez also says a good photographer really has to use Photoshop uh, unless they're doing black and white. Now, why do we take pictures? Everyone has a different opinion of why we actually take pictures. Personally, I believe it's because we want to see the changes in ourselves and in our world. We want to remember good times we've had and bad times. We document things like important events in our lives, our loved ones, the world around us and how it changes and how we affect it, and obviously physical changes in people around us. Now that we've talked about all of those things, just kidding. Now that we've talked about all those things, um, I just want to go back and talk about the things we've talked about. Today we talked about photography, where it came from, the different types and elements we use, and why we take pictures. 
So the real question is, why do you take pictures? And that's my work-sided 